Welcome everyone, one and all, wizard fans, shooter fans, or just fan of video games. I'm Golden Tengu, your fellow player for today, and this is Ziggurat. Now then, Ziggurat, interesting game. It was on sale for six bucks, thanks to the flash sale, and I figured I'll give it a shot. Now, okay, that's a complete lie. I was actually playing this a few times yesterday. I wanted to get a hang of it, and... Let's say I am able to manage to get to the second boss, but I gotta be honest with you. When you're not particularly good at shooter games, it's a pain in the ass. And this one is definitely challenging, but I always find myself coming back to it. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna play this every day, or I'm gonna play it every day for, what, like five hours, ten hours or so. I'll play it as much as I can until I get better. And, well, I'm bringing you guys for the trip. Because what's a better way to attract my audience than with failure? I hate failure. But at least I'll get to show you my failings. Now then, halls of despair. And I get a... Ugh. I'm not really a fan of Valley of Twilight. <laughs> Alright, so for most of you who don't even know what the hell the Ziggurat is, I shall tell you. So Ziggurat. Which, of course, you know, if you ever get the game and tells you what the story is, and what the ziggurat is, and the point of it, why I'm a princess, blah blah blah, we're gonna ignore that. Let's actually explain the gameplay itself. So, you start off with your typical magic wand and a starting weapon. Now, it could be anything. Legitly anything. Everything is randomly generated. Two... Oh god. The enemies... Dungeon layouts, etc, etc. It's always, the first dungeon is always at least typically moderate compared to the yeah. other. Now, once you get higher up, things get a little more random, but that's not always the case at the time. Sometimes things get a little more dicey. Enemies get a little more stronger, and more chances for random effects happen to these enemies, blah blah blah. Uh, some people have had fortune runs, some have not. And it's actually kind of a shame. Now then, playing enemies. Enemies also random, and sometimes you can have a bad day with just getting the wrong pair of enemies. But yes, imps. I hate imps. I hate them so much. I, I mean, I think they're called imps. Gargoyles. I don't know what they are. They're just annoying. Very, very annoying. But anyway, let's explain a couple things. So you're starting your wand. The thing of it is, uh, gets your typical pistol couple basic shots and then you have this little uh, three four spread shot. I guess you could call it like a bit of a sawed off shotgun on the side. Which I think is pretty cool. You just have to realize that even though it has unlimited ammo, it has to recharge. And the more you use it, it has diminishing returns. So you have to be careful. And of course I have Twilight, it's kinda of like your standard well, if you put it in rapid fire it's like basically a machine gun. It's good if you're kiting, but in this case, there's really no point for this Eye of Twilight, except for maybe a boss where I can actually abuse the hell out of it. But in the meantime, we don't have to focus on it. Yes, uh, in case you're wondering, it's here. Ah, fuck. What the hell? Oh, there's the water. Ow, man, I'm being hurt. By mushrooms. So yeah, as I said, enemies, random. And you always have to be careful because you never know what you're gonna get in the end. Never know what you're gonna get in the end. And each one acts differently, each one is either buffed up or anything really. Uh apologize, I'm not really doing so well explaining this game too well, but I think for the most part what you're seeing is explains itself. Now, when you level up Always a random perk. It's never following a set pattern. So you have to really just make do of whatever you get and kind of go from there. I always choose anything that's health related because you will need as much health as possible. Of course, anyone who's experienced with the game will probably don't have to really. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I think you got this. And... Oh, s wait. Oh, oh shit. Uh, 
so I, I got <laughs> I was expecting that. I am running out of Uh I guess that was an alchemy boss or whatever those things are called. Good perks, just you know, to probably bite you in the ass. And it seems like in this case I have less damage now than I still have. Yeah, I gotta get good. Man, I'm, not, I'm not even shooting at it. <laughs> there we go. Oof. Yeah. That's more of a pain in the ass than it should have been. This leads to... Depends what's here. God, I hate imps. He wants to bite me in the ass, but I don't want to. Oh, shit. So far, well, I would say so far so good, but it's been kind of a mess so far. And this leads to trap area. Ah, that's unfortunate. Pity on me. Not that most games should, but hey, works out in my favor. All right, that was annoying as heck. Let's see, potions give you more health. Well, yeah, of course I'm gonna get that. <laughs> yeah, only only noobs rely on health-related items. I will admit that I am a noob at this. I will become better. I should become a better wizard. Eventually. Alright, better hurry this up. Ugh. Wow. Sweet. This is, uh... Oh, man. Oh, God. I never had to do this. Wait, okay, what? Oh, my God. Yeah! Yeah! Now I gotta go back. Crap. Okay, what have I, uh... Alright, I gotta go all the way back down there. 
Well, luckily that trap room does not lead to the boss fight. Maybe I can find something. Maybe. Jump. Oh, wait, what? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Giant chicken! Giant poison spouting chicken. I call them chickens. Oh, that's just what they look like to me. They are chickens. I wish I had War Cry. This would be so much helpful. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just whining. Oof. Okay. Uh, yeah. Linears. I can do this. It's a level four. Oh, boss fight before. Let's see. Recovers a small amount of mana at the beginning of each battle. Mana gems give you more magical energy. Well, actually, I can use Vigilant. Alright. Alright, so, yeah, that was, uh... Well, I'm gonna be doing more videos with this, because I actually do love planes. And... It is true, I will be coming back to it. I will resume my game from where I left off with the crappy weapon I got. Hopefully I get something better. But in the meantime, that's the out. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully it will persuade you to get it. If, they, if you love shooters, you love wizard stuff, and you're willing and you like games that have trail and lore, this is definitely one of them. And I feel like you guys will have a good time with it. I mean, my poor display wasn't particularly great, though it could be worse. I mean, I could simply just be staring at the enemy and decide, oh hey, that's shiny. And then I die. Well, anyway, that's Ziggurat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll be continuing. Even if I happen to die in the second part, we will be continuing. So, I'm Golden of Tank. I'm Golden Tengu. This is Ziggurat once again. I defeated that, what, third, fourth time already? Well, hopefully enjoy. Have a good day.